Hey guys, we're going to talk today about tape measures. We haven't done an episode of Homestead Tools in a long time, and I figured it was a good time to revive that and just do a quick video about these guys. Now, we all know what a tape measure is. We know it's a really just must have piece of equipment for your house, your apartment, homestead, whatever you got going. This is pretty much something every man needs to own. And with a few just little tidbits of knowledge, you can actually pick out a really good tape measure and be very happy with it and uh, be able to accomplish a lot. Now, of course, tape measures come in all different shapes and sizes, from ones made of plastic, you know, keychain ones, to the big 100 footers that come in a spool, you name it. There's all different kinds for all different purposes. But for the most part, for regular household use, you're really only going to need, you know, your general 16 or 12 foot tape measures, which are good for measuring lumber, if you're doing any kind of framing, maybe you're making a deck, putting in a pool or a fence or something like that. And generally your longer ones, which will be used for, say you need to measure the length of a room or something like that that goes beyond the 16 foot that lumber is. So, not to say you can't use them interchangeably, but, you know, typically I'm not going to carry this big 35 footer on my belt because I really only ever need 16 foot when I'm working with lumber. All right, so qualities here vary from like $4 up to about $20. There's not a huge price gap with these things. They're pretty simple, pretty easy, and if you really are paying more than 20 bucks, you're overpaying because pretty much the best ones on the market are uh, really not much more than 20 bucks. So with all that said, let's talk a little bit about quality first. Now, we got a couple Pittsburgh here, you know, the company that everybody loves to hate, Harbor Freight. And uh, we have two different quality ones. Now over here, what you have is one of these little plastic case ones that you get uh, for free. Uh, every once in a while you get the coupons and it says buy something and you get this tape measure free. Well, I've probably bought about 10 of these <laughs> over the years, but they don't last long. You can see here, the actual tape measure on this is pretty chewed up. Pretty chewed up. The ends are all crinkled, dented, and it no longer will measure true. It just won't hook on to an end, and that won't happen because you've got a bunch of bends and creases in the tape. So whenever you put pressure on it, it just bends along those uh, creases. So it's very difficult to work with this now because that tape has creased, and it just didn't crease from from my misuse, guys. This is actually creased just due to normal wear and tear. I didn't step on it, didn't drop anything on it. The only thing that's really cool about these uh, Harbor Freights, which is kind of neat to show, we'll come around the other side, is these ones actually have the measurements on the bottom. So if you're working with someone who's a newbie and they don't know where 7 eighths is, this can be very helpful to them. And it's very good. This is a great tape measure if you're handing off to your wife and saying, hey, uh, What's the measurement? And she's like, uh, it's uh, three notches past the three, you know. You can look and they can just say, oh, it's, uh, you know, three eighths or whatever. Someone who just doesn't get it. Sometimes a tape measure like this can be very good for someone who's new. So this will end up in the trash probably after this video because at this point it really just won't stay hooked onto wood because of the, uh, the bends in it. So it's really kind of useless to me. Now... On the other hand, you have this uh, Pittsburgh metal frame one, the Duralock. Much better quality blade. As you can see, normal use is not wrinkled or crinkled or bent this in any way, shape, or form. It has a really nice big lettering for the inches. And you can see it's actually in great shape considering how much I've used it. And it's very easy to read. No markings on the bottom there telling you what they are, but once again, a lot better quality for the buck or two that you, you get for the free one. So this one, not bad. It will last you quite a while. And to break it, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to step on it, drop a 2x4 on it or something like that. Um, next, I would say, would be this Walmart one. This, uh, was it Kumalon? Kumalon? I don't know. I like this one because it's self-locking. I oftentimes have to work by myself, so it's kind of nice. You pull this guy out, it stays there. The blade on it is not the thickest on earth, but it's got a good stand out. 
And what stand out is, is how far this can be put out before the blade bends. And this will get about eight foot, which isn't bad for a cheapo. So I like this one because it's self-locking and the button actually brings it back in. So it's kind of reversed to what most of your uh, tape measures are. This one also has the markings on it. So if you hand this to a rookie, they'll be able to tell you exactly what they're what they're reading. So I do like this one quite a bit. I use this, uh, especially if it's like my wife or something like that, because this is easier for her. She doesn't have to deal with the lock. You know, she's all thumbs, guys. Let's just let's be honest. So she can just pull that out, hook it on, take her measurement, close it up when she's done. And this one though is uh, a little bit of a problem and this is what happens with cheap tape measures guys you can see how when I brought it in it didn't go in all the way oh, made a fool out of me that time well, I'm going to now but you saw if you watch the video it did stop there's already a couple of creases started right here and here and that's from just bringing it in and having it you know as it comes in you know catching the the edge and wiggling but and once again, that's like a $4 tape measure. So now we're going to move on to the Stanleys. Stanleys are definitely my favorite. And they also come in a big range of quality and price. For example, this is a really cheap one I got from... Oh, probably Walmart. Back in the day, I think I've had this since I was... Uh, I think I've had this since I was like 18 or 19 years old. So I've had this quite a long time. And it did last for being a cheapo. It really did last. But the problem with it is the tape bent. So it's really not useful anymore. It won't hook on to anything. You know, so once again, this is probably another one that's going to get chucked away. I don't think I paid a fortune for it. Probably paid seven or eight bucks for it back in the day. But it was pretty good until I wrecked it. <laughs> uh, but that was a cheapo plastic case old Stanley. Now the power locks, as you can see here, we have the 35 footer, which is made in the USA, and the 16 footer, which is not made in the USA. So that is one thing if that's important you to pay attention, because not all of them are equally made in the USA. The Fat Maxes are made in the USA. I think these are the best, uh, the high-end Stanleys are the best ones you can pretty much get, at least as far as I'm concerned, and they really don't go over $20. Now this power lock 16 footer is the one I tend to use the most, and that's because you know, I typically tend it for building projects and working with lumber, so 16 foot's about as much as I need. And it's got a nice, good tape to it. It's a good thickness. It's easy to read. It's nice and bright. Good, uh, really good, you know, markings. And plus, the cool thing about this one is it actually has 30 seconds. It's not just 16s. It actually goes to 30 seconds. And then after a foot, it goes back to 16s. So... You can see on the left side of the foot there, it has extra markings compared to the right. So if you are doing a really fine measurement, you can do it with this guy, which is cool. So I do tend to go to that guy a lot and use that one a lot. And I've had this one for a while. As you can see, it's actually pretty much still in pretty close to perfect shape. I've actually babied it quite a bit because I don't want to ruin it. I really do like it. I know you can get them for like seven, eight bucks, but still, you know. The uh, 35 footer made in the USA. Much bigger tape. No 30 seconds on it. Or is there? Wait. Nope. No 30 seconds markings on it. But once again, it's a very thick, very wide tape. You get close to a 10 foot of standout with this guy. So this thing will really go out a long way. Great tape if you're working by yourself and you need to measure something and you really just need to be able to get the tape down there without a second person. Great quality item to buy. Same thing with the Fat Max. Once again, these Fat Maxes are pretty much every contractor's favorite. And the reason why, they have this huge, gigantic tape. The standout on these things is like 10 or 12 feet. You can pull these out 10 or 12 feet without that tape bending. It's got a really nice hook on the end. These things are altogether really good. And uh, there's a reason why they're kind of the, the standard when it comes to tape measures. They're just built really good. They're nice and wide and thick. And... You can get them, you know, in all different sizes, and people just love them. Plus, they're made in the USA. How do you go wrong there, you know? Having a good made in the USA tool is always uh, very, very nice. So, there you go, guys. You do get what you pay for when it comes to money. I, uh, as you can see, you know, these uh, 
cheaper ones did uh, tend to break pretty easy over time. And uh, even these, uh, you know, these little four dollar ones, they aren't going to last long at all. You get a couple of hard jobs out of them, and that's about it. Whereas the uh, the better ones will last you a long time if you do baby them, because you really do. You just have to step on them or drop something on them to to ruin that tape. So tape measures are a great tool to have, and they're a great tool to have more than one of. I think it's great to have a little bit of a variety of size and shape, because you know, like that's what I said. You're not going to want to carry this guy on your belt. That's just one big heavy guy to have on your belt. This guy's a lot more convenient, but at some times you need that big boy. So it is nice to have a couple different ones. And also, it's also I think it's really important to have ones to lend out. If you are doing a project, you really want somebody having your nice Fat Max. No, you want that. That's a cool. You know, that's a good one. So of course, sometimes it always helps to have some cheapos to uh, throw around if you're working on a project and someone comes over to help. So there you go. Tape measures, not a ton you need to know about them, but uh, quality, you know, just look for a good, strong metal tape. Look for uh, a good quality brand name. And these Stanleys are made in the USA, and they're just, they really are. They are the standard for these.